I'm in a funk. And he says, I know that I should be doing better, but it's just like nothing seems to be working. And so it's discouraged me and I'm down. And how do I get out of this slump? Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today, let's talk about how to get out of a slump. It happens to professional baseball players all the time. You got a batter, he's going through the season, he's crushing it, he's hitting, he's batting 300, everything's going good, and all of a sudden, bam, he can't get a hit to save his life. And all of a sudden, he may go from batting 300, which means three out of every 10 times he gets on base, to all of a sudden he goes 17 times in a row up to bat and he doesn't get a single hit. And that, those slumps can last for days, they can last for weeks, and sometimes they can even last for months. And the same thing can happen in your business. And I just got a question from a coaching member that uh, recently that really made me start thinking about this because he defined his slump as he said, I'm in a funk. I'm in a funk. And he says, I know that I should be doing better, but it's just like nothing seems to be working. And so it's discouraged me and I'm down. And how do I get out of this slump? How do I get out of the slump? And I'm like, okay, that's a great question because we all go through it. How do we get out of the slump, whether it's in real estate, as a real estate agent, or anything. And so today I want to talk about the five steps, five steps that you can take today to break out of that slump in one day. So it's not, this is not a slow process. This is a fast process. The way you get out of a slump is get out of it today. All right. So let's talk about those five steps. So the very first step to get out of a slump, if you want to jump out of the slump is number one is to own the slump. You got to own it. And what that means is you got to accept responsibility for where you are today. That I am in this slump because of my performance. I'm in this slump because of me. As long as you're trying to find something else to justify it or blame it and say, well, it's because of the market or it's because of the prospects or it's because of something else that happened. As long as you're trying to identify a cause outside of yourself, you are powerless to get out of the slump. So you have to own the slump and say, okay, okay, it's here, it's me, it's inside of me. And most of the time, my friend, it's mental. Most slumps happen, I would say 95% or more of all slumps in any space, whether it's in sports or business or whatever, is it is a mental slump. Because think about it, you take a baseball player that is on top of his game, he's getting hits, he's getting hits, he's getting hits, and then all of a sudden, it's just like a switch got flipped, and all of a sudden, he can't get a hit to save his life. Happens in football, basketball, baseball, happens in sports all the time, is you get a guy that all of a sudden, he can't hit the ball to save his life. Well, what changed? Did like all of a sudden, he lose his talent? Did he all of a sudden go from being coordinated and have high athletic ability to all of a sudden be in a klutz and have no hand-eye coordination? Did all of a sudden somebody break both of his arms? I mean, what caused the slump? It wasn't that his skill level changed. It wasn't that his talent changed. It wasn't any of that. It wasn't that he all of a sudden went from being experienced to no experience. It was something else. And so when you get right down to it, it was not, it's not something physical most of the time. It's here. It's mental. So when you own it and go like, okay, I am in a slump. I'm in a funk. Well, you got to own it that you can solve it. When you own it, you go like, okay, it was me that took me to funky town. That's why I'm in the funk. How do I get out of it is now something I can address because I own that I'm in the slump because of me. So number two then is I got to figure out, okay, so it happened. It's real. It's on me to fix it. I own it. So what is it that caused me to get into the slump? Something had to happen. And it may have been just one bad at bat that made me have self-doubt. What is it that caused it to happen? Look for, look for, and look for causes, not excuses. Well, it's just because of this or just because of this. Again, bring it to you, not to somebody else or something outside of yourself. Because if it's something outside of yourself, you can't fix it. So look at it. Go, what is, was it a bad experience? Was it a bad experience that caused me to then have self-doubt and that self-doubt then turned into this downward tumble so that my slump, see the thing is, is a slump, once we get in it, if we give way to it, if we give into it, then it's like, Wah! 
and all of a sudden we're flying out of control, downward spiral, because that's what slumps do to us, is they pull, they suck us down. So I gotta go like, okay, there's, there had to be a, a moment, something that caused it. It may have been a failure, it may have been a fear that it raised its ugly head, it may have been a bad experience, I got discouraged, I got disappointed, I got distracted. Something happened and that's when it happened. Now this third thing is, is I wanna know how long have I been in the slump? When did this start? Okay, decide what, how long has it been going on? Because if I can figure out how long that I realize, okay, I've been in a slump for a while and it's okay. See, slumps happen. Acknowledge it, I'm in one, I've been in it for a while and then I can do something about it. So acknowledge, how long have I been here? Wow, when was the last? It's been three weeks, it's been three months, whatever it is, it's been three days, it's been three hours, whatever it is, figure out how long it's been there because then you can, like, you can look at it and go like, okay, I'm here, I've been here for a while, all right. And then you just accept reality and understand slumps happen, slumps are okay. The moment you'd figure out how long it is, then you can go like, okay, how long do I want it to last? When do I want the slump to end? When am I gonna stop it? And you decide right now, today, if you're on a slump right now, you decide when do I want this to end? Now you can say, well, I want it to end right now, okay? There's a difference between saying, I want it to end right now and saying, I am ending it today. See, decide when you're gonna stop the slump because you have the power to break out of it. We've already talked about that it's, it is a mental thing. It's something that happened. It didn't, it's not, like not all of a sudden, if you, if you are used to taking three listings a week and all of a sudden you haven't had a listing in a month, it's not because all of a sudden sellers quit selling. It's not that all of a sudden you became, went from being experienced and confident to not experienced and you may have lost your confidence, but that's here. So you can decide, when do I want to get my confidence back? Uh, how about today? How about tomorrow? How about Monday? I, it, it doesn't matter and it doesn't have to be right now. You may go like, okay, I'm mentally here. I think I need a day to get out of this. So I'm going to get, my slump is ending today. Tomorrow, I'm out of the slump. And you set the date. Okay, set the date, set the time, the moment. Because see, here's the reality. Getting out of a slump can happen like that. Now, is it always going to happen like that? Maybe, maybe not. But there's no value in saying, okay, I'm gonna come slowly out of this slump. So the strategy has to be, you break out of a slump. All of a sudden, bam, everything's back on track. How do you do that? You commit. You commit that that's gonna happen. And when you, look, you, change can happen in your performance in an instant, the moment you absolutely decide what you are committed to making happen. I will make this happen, period, I'm out of the slump starting today, starting tomorrow. You set the date and then boom, get on, get on with it. And then the final step is once you set the end date and you go into it, then you have to take the action. And I'm just gonna put it here as act as if. Act as if you are on top of your game. I want you to take the, same, take the actions that you would take if you were in the zone, if you were on a hot streak, if you were just on a tear and everything you touched was turning to gold, everything's working at 100%, that's how I want you to think and that's how I want you to act. You just take it and you go like, okay, this, what, what did I do when I was on top of my game? How was I feeling when I was on top of my game? What was I saying to myself when I was on top of my game? And that's the actions you take. You start saying, thinking the thoughts. And if you have a thought that sneaks in and goes like, you're really in a slump. Bam, get rid of that thought. No, I am on top of my game. I am the best, I am unstoppable. Get those feelings, those thoughts, those words that you say to yourself, the way you move your body, the way you act during the day, the way you dress. Don't go like, oh, I don't feel like getting, you know, getting dressed today. Well, get dressed, get cleaned up. Act as if you were on top of your game. Because the moment that you start performing, the moment you start acting as if you were on top of your game, the moment you start acting like you're not into a slump, and immediately your mind follows your action. Your mind and emotions will follow your behavior. behavior. And it's in that instant that breakthroughs happen. Commit, 
get started, take action, and do not stop. Okay, motion creates emotion. So when your motions are the, taking the motions of success, then your emotions are gonna follow that. The mo you take the motions of confidence, then the emotion of confidence is going to follow. How do you get out of a slump? Well, don't let the slippery slide of the slump take you to funky town and kept, keep you stuck in a funk. You can get out of it today, but you decide. Follow the steps right here. If you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've done some things that are really cool that helped you break out of a slump, make sure you post those in the comments below. Let's continue that conversation on. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. Anyway, and let me know below what questions you have, ideas, what's worked for you, and we'll continue that conversation there, and I'll see you on the next video.